No, it, well, this meeting has been fixed for a couple of days. Basically, for the president to meet the caucus of the Senate and also to meet the incoming senators by the special grace of God. You know, after February 16, when we believe the Nigeria people will give us a comfortable majority in the not only in the Senate, but also in the House of Rep. And I think the whole idea was for the President to have a direct interface interaction with, uh, with the Senators and to talk to the need for everybody to work hard to ensure that uh, on the basis of one man, one vote, that the February 16 election is resolved in our favor you know, by the Nigeria people. Uh, I think it's, it's nice. The Senators, some of them have not had a meeting the President before. I mean, the Senatorial candidates. And we have all of them across the country. So it was a nice meeting. Compare notes, give report on as regards to what is going on in each of the constituencies and so on and so forth. Nice meeting. Is, is the party worried about uh, some of the reactions that trade the removal of the CJN from international communities? What is international community? The thing is that Nigeria is not a colony. You know, I think we all have to be careful. We must defend the sovereignty of our country. We welcome collaboration, we welcome peer review, we can compare notes, we welcome people who are who are interested in sharing experiences with us, uh, wherever the need arises, whether it's capacity building, uh, making useful suggestions on how we can continue to improve on our electoral process. Those are very valuable contributions that we appreciate. But Nigeria is not a colony, we will not accept any foreign interference in the internal affairs of Nigeria. When they dismiss judges in Europe, judges have been dismissed in the United States. They've been dismissed across the world when they are found guilty of corruption. And the Western world cannot, or the war how when it suits them, describe Nigeria as fantastically corrupt. And when a corrupt judicial officer is being charged, people want to interfere. What anybody can insist on is, is anybody being framed? Is the suspended CJ guilty? of the allegations made against him? Or is this something being cooked out from nowhere? Now, if a Chief Justice of the Federation admit that he has breached the law, if a Chief Justice of the Federation admit that he has several foreign domiciliary accounts, even though he also admit that by nature of his office he is not a trader, what is he doing with accounts in British pounds, in, in US dollars, and in Euro, and to the extent of forgetting that he has those accounts, if he has such memory failure about the size of his, the number of his accounts, and to fail to declare them, you and I know that not even ignorance is an excuse in law. So why are we being hypocritical? And at a certain level of responsibility, it's not even about legal technicalities, it's about the moral weight, the moral body you carry. So nobody, nobody should make us feel as though we are at the mercy of any other country. The future of Nigeria is in the hands of Nigerians. And our laws are clear. Our laws are made to be obeyed. If Nigeria thought that anybody other than the president, the vice president, or a governor and deputy governor are above, uh, have immunity, it should not be so written into the constitution. I do not understand what the noise is about. So people say, yes, okay, even if it is true, uh, is it the proper timing? What is the best time to, pros to prosecute a crime? Should we suspect criminal justice pending elections? There's some people say, you know, uh, because of the uh, very unique role, or rather very delicate role the judiciary has to play in settling election issues. That is the more reason, you know, that people are worried about the timing. Then my question is, given that important role of the judiciary in times like this, is that the reason you should allow a judge who has confessed to breaching laws of the land, is that the reason to allow you to preside to adjudicate over issues that have to do with fairness and justice? I mean, for me, I have tried not to comment on this issue because I didn't think that, you know, issues of this nature should be reduced to politics, uh, particularly partisan politics. But when I see PDP talking as if uh, the chief judge is a, is a, is a, is a, is a coordinator, the, the suspended chief judge is a coordinator of PDP, then I get really worried. I think the non-political class should also say the reason. And for me, it's also, it's also up, it's not up to the bar. 
because the issue here are not just legal issues, they are also huge moral issues, they are also huge ethical issues. I asked some foreign, uh, some of these foreign ministers, I asked them, will the British chief judge be found to have an account that is not in British pounds, you will have an account in Japanese uh, yen, in uh, Euro, uh, Ibu Europe to have a euro account and dollar account, and it's not a trader. And he confessed in black and white that he had done it, and uh, the British uh, authorities will accept that because the nation is approaching, therefore you should tolerate it. Will that be acceptable in America? Can British turn around to say Nigeria is fantastically corrupt, and when the president wants to fantastically fight corruption, then they tell us that the time is not right. At what time is it right to fight corruption? Mr. Chairman, sir. So I think the issue for you, the media, one, one last one, yeah. the issue for you, the media, should be, are these things true or not? Is it true that the chief judge, the chief judge of Nigeria agreed that he failed and or forgot to, uh, to, 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 to declare these assets? Now, if it is true, is that an offense in our laws? If it's an offense, it is, a, is, it, is it right that we told the other way? Meanwhile, his, the people are sentenced to jail for 10 years for stealing chicken. People are convicted for stealing rabbit. It has been done in, the in, in our system. So we cannot have a country where when the big man is in trouble, all the big guys run around that become media issue. The law where is supposed to be blind to status. So, but as I said, I regret that I even have to make this comment because really, I didn't think that it's a matter for politicians and for political parties to decide. And, and uh, the last word, you know, when the PDP candidate, Atiku, has issues with his election, he had challenges with moving around, and he now claimed that he has suspended his campaigns because of the CGN. What is the affiliation between PDP as a party and the CGN? If it is true that there's such a nexus between the two, that should give you cause to worry. But the issue of CJA has become a matter that defines whether or not PDP should, should continue their campaign. Why is it a PDP body? I think what Nigeria must insist on is that this just, justice should be done transparently. The facts should be made clear that to ensure that the chief, the, the, the suspected chief judge is not victimized. And of course, if he's also guilty, that is not excused just because he's the chief judge. Because the law is not supposed to discriminate. So, and I think the media ought to be a bit, a bit careful. No society is held together simply by rule of law. If the, in the absence of strong commitment to ethics, strong normative values, society is in crisis, as far as I know. So, I, feel, I think these are issues. You, the media, if it is in your rule books that you must do X, Y, Z in your, in your, in your place of employment, and you, you infringe the law, are you spared? So I, I think that Nigeria has to be careful. What I think the, every one of us is entitled to is fairness. Nobody should be framed. And if there are offenses committed, you know, people should be made to, 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 to account. I think that is the law. That is the law. Let's be careful. Not every, not, there is no any other country that is not envious of the sheer size of Nigeria. Because when we get our act together, you know, and get our economic policies right and run our country more efficiently. We are the greatest country on the African continent. And I don't think if you, if you interact with, with journalists in other countries, you will see the amount of envy when you say you are in Nigeria. So we must keep this country together beyond politics. And Nigeria is greater than all the political parties put together. That is my position. I don't want to me particular comment because really I would prefer that we leave this matter in the hands of the judicial system and let it sort itself out. But unfortunately, uh, uh, the, the opposition has made it uh, a, a partisan issue and every day they make it an issue and if we don't talk it will appear as if we don't have something to say. But really, I expect this, the chief judge to look at the bigger interests and say no, I will not subject the judiciary to this trauma by simply turning in his resignation. That is what to be done in every other civilized society. Thank you. Thank you.